Tonight with a follow up to a story we brought you last night about photos showing crowded and possibly unsafe conditions inside the Bibb County Jail. Today, our story prompted questions by some county commissioners, a response from the sheriff, and according to one commissioner, a closed door discussion. The photos show over 20 inmates lying on the ground, close together and not wearing masks. Sheriff David Davis says the images are from inside one of two areas where inmates are required to quarantine for 10 days. Ashlyn Webb has been following this story and brings us the latest. Yes, in response to our story about those photos, Commissioner Virgil Watkins posed questions to the sheriff in Tuesday's meeting, but Mayor Lester Miller stepped in and said those questions should be answered behind closed doors. We have an executive sure. session scheduled shortly that item can be covered in an executive session. It's something I don't think we need to talk about, and put the sheriff in a situation right well, now. Well, hold on. Hold I on. didn't understand. I know it wasn't expressed on what from the questions that I was asking was something that was not supposed to be talked to public. So Commissioner Virgil Watkins and Al Tillman objected and pushed for the sheriff to answer questions in public. Are you saying to respect the chair because I'm, we're going to learn some information outside the public's view? Uh, Commissioner Tillman, I am saying what I'm saying. Okay. And I do not want to get into any further. Okay. Isolation the sheriff did answer questions, explained that the photos were taken inside the area where inmates are required to quarantine for at least 10 days before being able to join the rest of the jail. Even after answering those questions, the county attorney then stepped in, saying it was appropriate to handle this away from the public. I just think it's more appropriate at this juncture to, to flesh the rest of this out in executive session. You've got good questions, but then we can determine. I can determine intelligently what might be more appropriate to be shared at this juncture. It's just it's just a new development. The commission went into executive session with Sheriff Davis shortly after the comment. Spokesman Chris Floor, who was not in the meeting, says county officials told him that jail conditions were not discussed. However, Commissioner Al Tillman says it briefly was. We raised issues again, uh, some of us, about uh, the photo and the safety of not only uh, the inmates, but the sheriff uh, department and uh, and the sheriff assured us that uh, he's taking every precaution uh, to ensure the safety of the men and women that's there. And so that was the extent of it. The sheriff also claims conditions inside the jail were not discussed in executive session. Several commissioners we spoke with say the main subject of the closed session was regarding a potential lawsuit against the sheriff's office unrelated to jail conditions. Now, Floor, the county spokesperson, also added that the county attorney's office reviewed all topics discussed to ensure that they were handled legally. Reporting in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Of course, we cannot confirm what was discussed in the executive session because the press and public are not allowed to listen in to an executive session. Georgia Open Meetings Laws says governments cannot exclude the public from meetings unless the topic fits a short list of exceptions, including pending or current lawsuits, property, or complaints against county employees.